Hi and welcome to this video showing you Commodore 64 and Commodore OS 32 version 1.3 or Commodore OS Vision. And this is my nice Commodore. It's got Keyrar in it. See? There's the Keyrar connection in the ports. This is my Commodore base. Show you an actual Pentanum 4. I actually made this operating system for this actual computer. It's a replica of Commodore OS Vision for on Commodore USA. And they didn't make a 64 bit, so I had to make a 32 bit version of it, a replica, for this computer here. This is the insides. I thought you might want to look at the insides just for a laugh. If you're into that kind of thing, I have to just take it apart to sort out something in it. There's the front, the connections there. Right, got its own built in big speaker. Look at that, massive thing. Like an old speaker from a, one of those old tellies. In the 80s. <laughs> Alright, let's plug it in. We're going to plug it in now. There you go. She's spinning. And there we go. She's on screen. And there we go. There it is. That's your selection. Boot screen of what OS you want to boot up. Pretty nice background, huh? See? It's actually built on actually Linux Mint, so that's why it says Linux Mint 10 2.3 2.6 generic. So now we press return. And then it should boot up fine. There we go. Booting up now. While we sit here and wait, it shouldn't take too long. How about making a nice cup of tea for yourself while you wait? It used to be like the old days where you used to boot up the Commodore. And uh, you just have to wait. So I used to go and make myself a cup of tea while I was waiting for a game to load on the Commodore 64. And by the time I come back and I made my tea, hopefully it would have loaded. The really old Commodore 64 games, you never used to have a screen where it used to flash. It used to just say loading, and that was it. You didn't know if it was going to load, when it was going to load, how long it was going to load, and how long it was going to take. Sometimes you're sitting there for 10 minutes waiting for a game to load. Nowadays, things are different. Thank God. Anyway, I've got my remote here I can use with it. I can use the keyboard. Well, I can use my remote. Oh. See? There it goes. There's my mouse on the screen moving around. See? Pretty nifty, huh? I gotta type in my the code. And the code is live one. The code is live one two three. If anybody needs to know the code for the actual admin, there we go. Because you might not have it. Anyway, this is the welcome screen. When you boot it up, it comes up saying, Welcome to Commodore OS Vision. You can actually see this welcome screen on the actual forum I posted it on, so if you want to see it, it's there. And there's just a few terms you've got to live by to use this operating system. And then there's 
visual cut to the effects. You just saw one of the effects when I closed the screen. See it twist? See it? Now it's gone. There's the bar at the bottom. I actually changed it back to the way it was. But you can do the same by going into dock settings on the actual system. All there and working. So um, this one, PC operating operating system emulator, that has to be had to be taken off because it wouldn't fit on the disc. So that's not there. You have to actually install it yourself by going to system administration and then administration. Come on, package manager, manager, just go there, click on it, type in the password obviously, that's live, one, two, three, then it comes up, see, won't come up unless you know that password, it's live, one, two, three. One more time. Live. L I V E. One, two, three. Then you search for Virtual Box 4.1. Okay? Just try the V I R and just go down the list. Go down the list. There is virtual box. And that's not the one we want. We're looking for four point one, so Virtual Box 4.1, and then there is Virtual Box 4.1. No. You can see Virtual Box 4.1, then you click on it like this, right click, and go down to Mark 4 Install. There we go. We're about to install software that can't be authentication authenticated. Doing this could allow blah 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 blah. So click mark and click apply. Right, and this comes up. Apply again and it will install it. There we go. It's installing now. That easy. There you go. <coughs> Sorry. I 
this done now. There we go. Fully applied. If any errors in that come up or whatever, you see errors in that, don't worry about it, just close the window. There we go. If you look back, if you look back here again, there you go, it's installed. See? Okay. mark for reinstall. It's installed now. So if you go up here, to applications and go to emulators. It's highlighted now, see? Let me click on that. There it is. There we go. VirtualBox is loaded. Seen a new version is down is available to download. Right. You can click on that to install it do what it says and that's it. I'm not going to do that now. So Windows XP is really accessible. Was it ain't on here at the moment? It was but it ain't now. Anyway, that's how you install VirtualBox. Remember the remember the actual password though. Password is live one two three admin password. Anyway, hope you enjoy Commodore OS 32-bit and I'll catch you later. Bye-bye.